What is going on everybody? Welcome back, Clay Chick Outdoors, and as you see by the description, by the title, by the thumbnail, something completely different today, hunting. We're not going hunting today, we're just getting ready for the hunting season. I have been baiting uh, my area here for a couple weeks now, I've got some decent deer on camera, nothing super giant yet, uh, I didn't have any great big ones last year, I had some potential, so we'll go through that all here in a little bit and talk about it. I'd like to talk to you about one of the biggest deers I've ever killed though, right here. My 200 incher, nope, 199 and 5.8. This thing did not go 200. It is 199 and 5.8. It's a slob of a whitetail. As you can see here, it's really tough. When you look head on, you're like, is it really score that big? But when you look at an angle here, it's got these extra extra points on each beam. This one right here, so a score counted the outside one as the, the main point, and then it's got the matching set on this side right here. It's got a point right here, as you can see, and then it's got the inside, inside point there. So it's like, I don't know what you would call that. Nice brow tines, great mass, decent uh, width. That thing is a giant. I love that word, giant. I'm giant, fish are giant, deers are di giant. But yeah, we're gonna go out. We're going to continue to bait, uh, a bait I have going on right now. At that bait, I've got uh, a nice four x four with uh, stickers on his G2s. I'll put some photos here. I had pictures of him last year. He uh, grew quite a bit this year. His main beams got a lot longer. He has stickers, his points got a lot longer. I've got some photos from last year. I'm missing all of my photos from last year though. So I only have like cell phone pics I've took of the camera of the photo and then sent to some friends. So I do have pictures of some deer there. Last year I had uh, a beautiful five by five with stickers on the G2. So obviously I've got some genetics in my area with these stickers. I had an older six by five. Um, I assume he was older anyway, short, shorter times. Looked like he was kind of more on the way out. I considered hunting him last year, but I never did. And then I had a monster show up near the end of the year. Only a five by four, but like big giant tines wide. I've got like a couple photos of him. I'm hoping that's my target deer for this year, but he hasn't been around yet. I've got a lot of does in the area. So hoping that as the rut progresses here, I draw them in. So we'll go out, we'll do some baiting. I showed you a bunch of pictures here of some deer. And uh, yeah, we'll talk a little bit in the, the field. Let's go. So I'm in the field, it's crazy windy. All I, I put for my, my bait, and like, you guys, I am not a professional hunter. Like, I am not. Like, I'm the farthest thing from it. I'm just your average Joe. But I'm putting some rolled oats here in the bucket. Ooh, windy. Rolled oats, see? Rolled oats, rolled oats. And then I have a little bit of a, a rolled oats corn mixture from uh, from Cabela's that's way overpriced. So I've got my oats and I've got here, you can see here, like a oats corn mixture. I just add a little bit of that. You don't want too much corn. I know uh, corn's hot, you can burn them out as it's called. I don't know the exact terminology for it, but you don't want to put your deer on all corn. Corn's, all corn's bad. Mixture of corn's okay, all corn's bad for them. And then in the in this bait, I have a, one of these protein blocks right now, right there, deer, deer attractant protein block. I already have one of those here. I brought another one for a different bait that I'm gonna start hopefully today in another area. So I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna go a little bit quieter when I go in there, of course, change the camera or change the card out on the camera, uh, drop the bait and then show you quickly just a little what, what area I got going on there for feed and stuff like that. They've been hammering it pretty hard. It's starting to get colder, so I imagine they're gonna even be rocking it even harder. Uh, I am in the market for some new trail cameras because I need another one. I only have one right now, I need another one. So uh, in the comments below, tell me the best cameras that you're using, best bang for your buck. I don't want something super expensive. I just want something that's reliable, that's decent on batteries and keep, takes good pictures. I just need two, I don't need something crazy. Something, uh, not a lot of money, something that's going to be good for me. I've got 556 pictures that I get to look at when I get home later. I just chose second spot here. I've got what looks like some main game trails coming from this way here, going through here. So this is kind of what I've chosen here. 
when I get a camera, I have some options of going, going on this tree here, but I'm more likely going to set the camera up on that tree right there. That will give me uh, some good options. Anyways, so I'll finish this video up inside, uh, going over the trail cam photos and talking just a little bit more about some of my hunting past experiences or background, maybe something like that. But uh, I did have a poll recently, which thank you guys very much for open water fishing or ice fishing to anybody that responded. I like, I think almost 500 people vote. It's like neck and neck. I did get out fishing yesterday. I failed miserably. There's no open water video from that. And we've got some really cold temperatures coming. I've got a trip planned here in Minneapolis to get some more otter gear. I'm excited. So uh, there might not be any more open water videos. Might be hunting and transitioning out of first ice, but have no fear. I will be on ice by no later than mid-November. I have a pretty good feeling. So yeah, <sighs> let's go inside. So this is really cool. I'm going through photos here right now and uh, I'll, I'll put them on the screen here so they're better. But I have a new deer that showed up last night. I'm assuming he's new, um, unless he's that six by five that I talked about last year that I thought maybe would have been older. But this deer is looking pretty good. It's a six by six, sorry, it's a six by five. And he's got like a webbed uh, G2, G3 on both sides. But it's a brand new deer that just showed up last night. So this is, things are looking good. This is exciting. So you guys, thanks for watching. Short little hunting video. I do still have some hats available for sale. I got toques slash beanies coming soon. So look for those as well. I appreciate all the support. I'll, I'll update you as uh, the hunting goes here. And uh, we'll put more photos up, uh, you know, on the channel as we get them. But yeah, this is, this deer I'm kind of excited about. I want to get some better photos of him here and maybe hopefully he shows up during the daytime at some time too, but this is awesome. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget, get outside.